Hello everyone, welcome to Jinghua Education. I'm Steven. In this video, we're going to talk about the introduction of exponent part 2. Okay, part 1, 2, 3, 4 are in one unit. Please make sure you watch all of them at once. In part 1, uh, if you haven't, do, haven't done the part 1, please go back to check it out. Um, part 1, we talked about the exponential rules and then basic uh, identities of this exp exponent. So in part 2, you now I'm going to talk about how to simplify after each of the following expressions. Okay, so by using those kind of exponent rules. Okay, so let's see questions here. Okay, the first one is pretty simple, right? So uh, 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 4. So uh, we have same base, so we need to make sure we have same base, otherwise we cannot apply the rules. The rules is the power times power equal to power add up, right? So there are 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4, so which together is the 2 to the power of 3 plus 4, which is 2 to the power of 7. That's it. Okay, so the next one, we got 3 as bottom, 3 as bottom, 3 as the base. So 3 is OK. And then 9 divided by 6 this is the power divided by power equal to power subtract, which is 3 to the power of 3. OK, yeah, next one. So we got a rational here. On the top, we got 2a squared. On the bottom, we have a. So we apply which one? This one, right? Uh, this one. So a to the power of m, b to the power of n, and then to the p. And then this power p apply to both of them, and the, both upper and bottoms. So we got a 2 to the power of a squared to the power of cube, and then b to the power of cube. Okay, and then the 3 is going to apply here and here. So it's 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. 8 to the power of 2 to the power of 3, power of power equal to power multiply, so it would be 8 to the power of 6, over b to the power of 3. Done. Okay, this one, 3 times 3 to the power of 5. So 3 is what? 3, we can say 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 5. Power times power equal to power add up equal to 3. 1 plus 5, which is 6. Okay, so uh, 7 to the power of 4 divided by 7. So this is uh, 7 to the power of 1, right? Power divided by power equal to power subtract. 7, 4, minus 1, equal to 7 to the power of 7, uh, 7 to the power of 3. Okay, so I'm doing pretty quick, so uh, if you are hard to follow, please pause the video and then uh, make sure you understand it. Okay, so last one, so 3 to the power of 3, 8 to the power of 2, so 3 to the power of 3, a to the power of 2 to the power of 3, so 3 to the power of 3, which is 27, a to the power of 2 to the power of 3, power of power equal to power multiply, so 8 to the power of 6. That's it. Okay, so this part is simple. Let's see the next one. So next page is a little bit complex, but still totally doable. Here. Okay, we have a 5, we have a 3, a square b. So we have a 1 term in here, 3 term in here. So this is constant terms, constant terms. 5 times 3 equal to 15. There's no power on the top, so we just leave it. a to the power of 2 and b. Done. Make sense? All right, this one, 4a, 4b squared. So we just FOIL them in, right? So it would be 4 times 4, constant times constant. And then a terms times a terms, b term times b terms. OK, 4 times 4 is 16. There's only one A term, so A term just A term. Just only one B term as well, so B square is still B square. Finished. OK, good. OK, these two as, is very simple because uh, there's no extra steps. Here, C is a little bit tricky here. So 7 times negative 3, so constant times constant. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. OK, and then A times A. So A is look, only looking for A. A is nothing to do with B, okay? So A2 times A1, so which is A2 plus 1, right? Power times power equal to power add up. A2 times A1, so which is A3. 
and then B5 times B6, which is B11. Okay, good. All right, let's see next one. So again, constant to constant, A to A, B to B. So constant 36 divided by 6, which is 6. A divided by nothing, so which is A just A. B squared divided by B once, so power divided by power equal to power subtract will be B 2 minus 1, which is 2B. B to the power 1, and then 1 we don't write here. And that's it. Okay, so next one. Again, constant divided by constant. So 10 divided by 15, which is the 2 over 3. We divide by 5 both terms. Okay, and then a to the power of 8 divided by a to the power of 6, power divided by power equal to power subtract, will be a 8 minus 6, which is 2. Okay, and then b divided by 6. There's no b, and there's no b anymore, so b just like that. There's no c, so c is still in the bottoms, which is here. Okay, let's simplify. Um, everything on the top will be 2, a square, and then b. Everything in the bottoms is a 3 and a c, so it will be 3c. Now, that is the complete simplified solutions. That one is not, okay? Just be careful that. Okay, the last one. We got uh, two things on the top and then one thing in the, in the bottoms. And then we have a, a bracket and then power. So we always open the bracket with power first. So we do these terms and these terms and then do multiply and divide. So as we learned before, bad math, right? B-E-D, M-A-S. So what does it mean? It's a bracket, exponent, division, uh, multiplications, uh, addition, and subtractions. Okay, so the bracket is more important, so, and the exponent. So we have a bracket with exponent here. So be 3AB, and then the two will apply to each one of them, which is which formula? This formula, right? Good. So 2 applied to 2, which is 4. A applied to with A square, and then B applied to, which is B square. Okay? over and then 2 is outside so we don't care about that so 3 applied to a which is a cube and then b applied to cube uh, 3 applied to b will be b cube okay and then let's uh, open that on the top so still we're looking for constant looking for constant will be a 3 times 4 which is 12 a looking for a which is a1 a2 Power times power equal to power add up equal to A3. B1, B2 will be B3. Over 2, A3, B3. Okay, 12, constant, looking for constant. 12 divided by 2 is 6. A3, A3 cancel out. B3, B3 cancel out. So the last, uh, the, uh, the answer will be 6 only. That's it. Okay, to summarize these kind of questions, how to simplify expressions, exponent expressions, make sure you apply those rules. And then, constant terms, looking for constant terms. A term looking for A term, B term looking for B terms. So you're looking for the like terms. And then you apply these rules here. If the base is not same, you cannot merge them, you cannot do them together. Make sense? Okay, I hope you learned something, and if you like my videos, please subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. I will answer your questions in my next video. Thank you for watching.